the Key Resolve Exercise in South Korea, which is an annual combined military training event conducted by the United States and the Republic of Korea, continues to demonstrate the strength of the alliance between these two allies. This year, the exercise runs from March 11th to 21st and involves more than 13,000 service members from both countries. The main thrust of Key Resolve is a command post exercise, which is a fancy way for describing a complex computer-based simulation. In this tent behind me, officers and senior NCOs from both countries are working in a high-tech combined operations center where they are participating in a realistic training scenario. According to Colonel Marion Garcia, this training has helped the U.S. and ROC forces improve combat readiness and interoperability. I think Key Resolve is, uh, is a good opportunity for the combined force to work together, uh, for the U.S. and the uh, South Korean armies um, to get to know each other, to practice together, to share techniques, uh, and at the end of it, come out as a stronger team. This is also the first year that the Key Resolve exercise is being led by the ROC Joint Chiefs of Staff. And Major Pak Chol says this training has helped the ROC military. This is the first time that ROC JCS leads the exercise. It is inspiring that ROC takes a leading role. It will be a great chance to get war fighting capability from the U.S. Army, which has a lot of war experience. Though ROC and U.S. have a different language and culture, the most important thing is that we cooperate with each other to reach the same goal. One of the most important parts of Key Resolve is that it builds relationships between U.S. and ROC military leaders. These relationships, forged over meals, from salutes, via coins from USFK Commander General James D. Thurman, and from working together, are the fibers that form the strong bond between the United States and the Republic of Korea. From Key Resolve 2013, and from the 106th Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Army Sergeant Victor Jake.